How the single degree of freedom vibratory system that can be depicted like this is spring constant K and the C is the damping coefficient, meaning that we assume that damping force is linear function of velocity, in other words, proportional to velocity, and the spring force is proportional to displacement, K is spring constant. And we assume that there is excitation, F of T, and we would like to know the response measured from this point of a mass due to excitation force F of T. We learned the response for excitation of, of F of T is for example, F0 sine omega P. Okay, you remember that. And also, we learn the response of this single degree of freedom system if the excitation force is in the form of a complex. Okay. And also we learned the response using transformation. For example, using Laplace transformation or Fourier transformation. Okay, this is what we learned before. And also, we gave you a sheet material that summarize these approaches. Okay? Today we will talk about general force to response, meaning that what if I have the force look like this? That's what we want to know. Okay, one way to see this problem, in other words, one way to get the response due to this general force is by regarding this general force as the Okay, say so this is equal to <laughs> the 
series are uh, this. I mean, we can assume that this kind of function or force can be considered as the superposition of this series of excitation force. Okay. Okay. So they say this is f of f hat, and this is delta t, okay, then I do recognize that because, because this is linear system, that means the governing equation is linear. Therefore, therefore, principle of superposition must hold. In other words, if I know the response due to this, okay, say, I know the response, if this response go to here, uh, if this excitation go to here, the response would look like, for example, if this is, if this is, uh, okay. if this is tau, then the response would start at tau, okay, and then it looks like this, somewhat like the response would be some velocity, initial velocity, divided by omega d, exponential minus zeta, omega and t sine omega dt by inspection because the response will decay exponentially the decay ratio has to be proportional to eta and the oscillation the oscillation would follow uh, would follow the frequency of omega d omega d is Damp the natural frequency okay. meaning that if I I mean the response of whole this excitation would be the superposition of the excitation due to this series of force so that would start with tau plus delta t that might look like this and so on so on okay so the, 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 the response of this kind of general force would be the superposition of all this response because this is a linear system 